It's a London food festival. I'm hungover as shit, which is ideal for a day of booze and food. I've put on a lot of weight, I've got fat. So you're technically more qualified this year than you were last year? I like to think I'm, I'm, I'm overqualified, if anything. Overweight and overqualified to be here. I'm here for the crowns, baby. I'm gonna make it rain. So would you go as far as saying today allows you to be someone you... you That's you, exactly what, what, it, what it's about. When I get in here, I feel lordly. I feel like a king. I'm going to eat like, behave like Henry VIII. I'm going to plough, plough my way through everything, booze and food. Any faces from last year you look, you're looking out for? Yes, obviously, man like Dean, big up Dean from Barbalude. Going to be looking for him. The other guy that I'm looking for, looking for, and you'll probably remember his name because I don't, was the French dude who served us the foie gras. With love. With love. Pascal. Is that his name, Pascal? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Pascal is going to get hunted down. On that note, let's go, let's do this. We're inside, we've got crowns, we're loaded. Um, we're going to see my friend Pascal at Club Gascon. Barbecued foie gras on the menu today and I'm going to go and fuck it up. Now that I know what it is, who gives a fuck about strangled, force-fed goose? Not me. I'm just gassed that he recognises me. Are you happy now? I'm so happy. Is this it, yeah? Sister! The reading the reading run! ba 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 Is that it? Ready? Yeah, everyone. Oh, they're not getting involved. <laughs> wow, this looks incredible. Can I believe? But is it made with love? Is the question because that was a big thing last time. It's a big love. This love. one love. because it's a crispy love. It just melts. It's unbelievable. And it's the third time I win the best dish of tests, you know? So you've started, your One. first dish is the best dish here. Come on, man. Do you expect anything less than that? <laughs> He's the guy. And yeah, just a frog. <laughs> the good frog. You're setting the levels up there. How are you going to pop it? I have to challenge myself. <laughs> it's the only thing. Right, well, listen, I'm here and I'm representing. Thank you. Thank you. Barbacoa. Jamie Oliver's spot. Pig cheeks. A lot of people would be grossed out by that, I suppose, but only a dickhead would eat a pig's cheek, right? Being a piggy guy, I'm about to get involved. It's all right. Feel a bit let down, Jamie. I'm a bit pissed off about that. At a place like this, you expect your fucking mind to get blown everywhere you eat. It's like a who's got the biggest balls in London cooking scene. And it's all the big boys, all the big restaurants are here, and they've got their balls out, and they're giving them a good shine for everyone to see. And if your balls aren't big and shiny, then you shouldn't turn up. Do you know what I mean? Is Jamie's balls? Small, wispy hairs, and generally just not doing it for me, I'm afraid. Sorry, Jamie. I love you, Jamie. I think, you know, you seem like a nice guy, but your balls are just not up to par today. So put those balls away. Maybe go gym. You'll do whatever you need to do to get them big, weighty balls. Stop beating out your missus, Jules. Let them swell up, and then next year you might you might regroup. Bit, yeah, it's a bit, bit obscene. Sorry, Jamie. <laughs> Big up, Jamie. So Gizzy is basically going to give us a little private dining experience and make me some some crazy Korean treats. In many ways, she's the uh, quite literally the hottest chef in the UK. Yeah, she's absolutely ridiculous, and in every sense of the word. And before that, she's giving us a little guided tour. Well, yeah, she's just going to take it, show us the hot spots. Because I'm going to be honest, like. As much as I eat a lot of food, I don't fuck all about fine dining. When it comes to like sushami and all this shit that I can't even pronounce, I don't have a fucking clue. I just smile and nod when people are talking about it, like I know what they're going on about. Clearly I don't. Anyway. Cheers! Yes. Anybody that fucking knows me knows that I'm massively obsessed with MasterChef. Gizzy's casually just dropped up, shall I go and get Michelle Rue Jr. to come and meet you? Fuck's sake. What have we got going on here? Pork cheek there. Okay. And pork belly. Both of them slow cooked, braised, with aromats, and the secret ingredient in there is Balvini whiskey. Okay, Balvini whiskey, where does that Balvin. come from? Scotland, of course. Oh, so. 
Thank so you. Uh, You're he's not an a, expert. Yeah, no, he is an expert when it comes and to whiskey. And it's the double wood, so it's really, really lovely, delicious whiskey. And that's infused the pork. And then it's sitting on top a lovely puddle of cheesy, creamy polenta. And I'll tell you what, it is delicious. That's absolutely insane. <laughs> oh my God, thank you. Like, comfort food or? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I've got so much love for pork belly and well, pork generally. Pig is, is an amazing creature. It is. Gasment levels are high right now. Like he's a fucking man and he's just took time out to make us some fucking gnarly pork cheek and pork belly polenta madness. And I just wanted to keep shaking his hand and touching him. I nearly went in for the hug, but he's quite short, so I thought it'd be a bit inappropriate. But yeah. came down and filmed last year and joked about this being our Glastonbury. Yeah. It's it's the Gasto the Gasto Glasto. <laughs> but it really is though. It is. I've essentially just meet, met John Lennon. Like, you know, like if you're a muso and you're into music, you know, John Lennon's the guy. I've just met John John Michelle fucking Rue Junior. He's getting twisted. Bro, I lost my shit fully then as well. Is it Jean-Michel Roux or is it just Michelle Roux? Michelle Roux, I don't know. Jean-Michel Jarre, I'm getting fucking confused now. And that's it, because you can get educated. You come here, you have a few drinks, but you learn some things as well. And that's why going around with Gizzy's great, because yeah. she's schooling me constantly. Thanks for your time, man. Cheers. Absolute honor as well. Cheers. Big fan. Imagine he's blacked out. I don't even know what he just spoke about. I'm just smiling and nodding the whole time. Like, yeah. He could have been calling me a cunt, and I'd have so been I'm like. I'm going to interrupt you. I've got a oh. delicious chocolate cake for you. Have that. It is a soft chocolate cake. What's this? That's a. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <that way. laughs> really joke. Okay, right. Are we Make doing this together? One, two, three, go. I love how it's like doing shots. <laughs> it kind of almost looks like cake, but it's, it's thicker than a, a, a mousse, but it's like a little fucking pot of. <laughs> pot of love. It's been fucking weird as fuck today. I've gone from being hungover as shit to being kind of like whiny, champagne y drunk. Bucket list ticked off Michelle Rue, new buddy. Jean Michel Jarre, my boy Rui. He told us that we got to go and have a whiskey with these guys because it's meant to be banging and he uses it in his food. So, so these are replicas of what were called dogs, dipping dogs. And they were used to steal whiskey from casks from the distillery when whiskey was bonded in warehouse. Drop it down, scoop your whiskey out, put it inside your trousers, and you would say, this is me going to walk the dog. And that's where the, the term comes from, to go walking the dog as an excuse to go out and drink. Do you sell those? No. That's the coolest thing I've ever but seen. But you're the I second person to ask, so it might be something that we have to start putting into production. So anyway, the whiskey that we've got in here is Balvenie Doublewood, which is the same thing that Michel was using with his braised cheek. So this is a 12-year-old single malt. It spent most of its days in something like this, which is American white oak. Can I have a little Yeah, bone? of course. Slightly smooth to begin with. So it'll feel like it's quite, well, that's just quite viscous. That's banging. Every part of the process in producing this whiskey has been considered. We make the whiskey the way yeah. we do, and we make it for exactly what you've said. We want yeah. smoothness, we want nice distillery character. That's a banging whiskey. We want to show people that we've taken time over it. Yep. In terms of Mr. Rue cooking with this stuff, that's I, crazy, I right? think I think any excuse to get whiskey in your palate at any time of day is <laughs> a, a good excuse. I mean, breakfast on porridge, wonderful. So Plus, you're not gonna you're not gonna question Michelle, right? Well, you're not. Well, that's it. He knows his palate, and he's creating things which are showcasing the complexity of flavors within the whiskey itself. So, with yeah. someone as crafted as that, looking at such a crafted spirit, it must be a kind of honor, though, to, that he's been, of course it is. he recognizes. I'm, the I'm sure he thinks it's a massive honor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you mean the other way? <laughs> <laughs> so Gizzy is basically going to give us a little private dining experience and make me some some crazy Korean treats. You're not recording me having this conversation. No, no, I'm just recording you eating noodles. Apparently, this is the luxury of Photoshop. You know we're going to get married. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Now? The more, the more you feed me, the more chance I'm just going to pull a ring out of my pocket. So this marriage is based on the fact that you're a fantastic cook and he's a fantastic well, cheese And I'm pretty hot. She's fucking ridiculously hot. Oh my god. So this is a pretty good day, right? You've had free food and now you've got a wife. It's arguably the best, one of the best days of my life. This is going to burn my mouth because I'm no, going to no, eat no, it no, now. No, you're not eating it now. If you eat it now, we're just getting divorced already. Okay, so... Oh man, it's What a turbulent 
20 minutes we're having. I think this is the best wing I've ever had. This might be my new favourite wing, by the way. Really? Like it's fucked. I went to Wing Fest last week. If this was in the run-ins, it would have fucking shut the whole festival down because it'd have been a 90% win ratio down to this wing alone. It's fucking, it's insane. This is why you're the, the culinary queen of the country. Really? Yes. Stop it. Stop it. I'm gonna give you a Korean. I've been here. I've been here for about six hours. I spent five crowns. You know what we said earlier? Do some little edit that relates back to what we said earlier. We said we're going to bullshit our way through today and not pay for anything. We fucking done that. If it was a gun to the head situation and they were like, "Listen, if you don't patch someone in within the next five minutes, we're going to blow your fucking brains out all over the place," I'd be like, "Get me to Barbaloon and find me Dean, because that guy would get a patch straight on." That's how real it is. Dina! Paul Boys in his head. That's all you need. Oh, yeah. That's all I need. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking obsessed with Paul Boys. We put a, a North African twist on it. Looks pretty sexy to me. Wow, this is gnarly. This is really, really good. You gotta do that on the side. Just a little one on the side. Perfect pairing. He's an absolute fucking G. This is why he would get patched in in a second. Do you know what? Fuck the gun to my head. Dean would get patched in just for fucking for fun. This is traditional DNA, but shaped like a hot dog. Fresh brioche. What's on the top here? What's pistachio and Dijon, but there's a bit of black truffle bit of uh, pistachio inside as well. A bit of black truffle. Oh. Boom! Nuts. French Vietnamese, foie gras, chicken liver mousse on the bottom, coffee duck, pickled vegetables, coriander. I love foie gras. I'm obsessed with it. It's so rich. Good night. That's what you won then. Was it everything you expected? M and more. I wrestled a fucking Mexican, I drank mezcal, I chilled with fucking Michelle Rue. Gizzy's fucking sick and I love her. She asked you to marry her. Fucking, yeah, exactly. So that's going to happen. You did a wedding video. Looking forward to that. We've eaten well, we've boozed well, we've fucking hung out with some cool people. It's done. There was a lot of bulls on show today, big shiny ones, but we fucking crushed them up and fucking did what we had to do and got what we needed. I'm full, I'm drunk, and I didn't spend any money. So yeah. big up Taste of London. It's fucking hotties everywhere. Well, I'm now married, so I'm done with that. So you ate enough balls tonight? I didn't, yeah, I, I was, no balls, <laughs> no balls were eaten. Who had the biggest, shiniest balls that you were happiest to put in your mouth tonight? Michelle Rue, bruv. He's the fucking king, bruv. He's the king of shining balls. The guy's about five foot eight, but his balls are fucking powerful.